What's up guys, Beyond Sense here with another video. So on today's video, I'm bringing you a review of a perfume that I got to know like one, two weeks ago. I bought it and I've been testing it. Here in Korea, it's quite difficult to, to find it because it's quite cheap and it's getting a little bit of hype. I don't know that much about America, but here in Korea, it's getting a lot of hype. And I'm talking about a Zara perfume and I'm talking about Zara Emotions number three, Ebony Wood. This perfume here is from the collection that Zara and Joe Malone made last year. This one is pretty much like, there's not a lot of people talking about this fragrance. When I first tried it, I got super surprised. So that's why I am here reviewing this one. So let's go for the presentation. So the presentation is quite simple. I mean, not that simple. Like you get, you have this lid here. You just take it and that's actually your box. And here it says like that moment of freedom and carefree adventures that are about to begin. But there's some kind of message here. I don't even know if the camera is getting, but that's it. So once you get it off of the leaf, you open it like that, like a book, kind of a book. And your fragrance is sitting here inside. So you just take it off and that's your bottle. Quite simple, just like all the parfum in the top, ebony wood, and in here you get like Zara Emotions number three. So probably this one is the third fragrance in the line. I am not sure, but I think there are five to six fragrances. I remember there, there, there's one that is made out of patchouli, another one that is made of tuberose. Uh, there's some other ones over there, but this, I tr I've tried all of them and this one was the one that actually like was a little bit more outstanding for me. This one was the one that I actually liked the most. Uh, I was actually quite surprised because the opening of this one is quite unique. Okay, so let's go for the review itself. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this one. So what is Ebony Wood? Ebony Wood for me, it's a sweet and woody fragrance. The opening is quite nice. Uh, so in the, I mean, if you check, if you check online, there's not a lot of information about this one so i'm gonna tell you exactly what i pick from this one if you go to fragrantica you're gonna see that there's just three notes listed and they are ebony wood Sichuan pepper and clove so by this three notes you can have an idea of the of the fragrance right but the opening of this one is quite nice the opening of this one, it's not listed, but I get passion fruit. Well, I was born in a tropical country and I am used to that kind of like smell, that fruity smell. And this fruity smell for me, it's pretty much passion fruit. Passion fruit is quite prominent in the opening. When I first tried it, I was like, I know this scent, I know this note, I know this. But at the same time, it wasn't coming to my mind because I've been living abroad for a long time and I haven't eaten uh, passion fruit for a long time. But after trying, after one, two days trying it, I, it came, it's just like, I just had the click. Oh, that's passion fruit. I don't know if you guys know, some people doesn't know because they don't actually have in their country since it's a tropical fruit, but that opening, just sells the fragrance for me let's let's summarize the the fragrance the opening super nice passion fruit fruity opening in the middle you're gonna have that sweet note that comes with a woody base and that's what you're gonna have in the end of the fragrance it's kind of a sweet and woody fragrance all over in my opinion this fragrance has two phases the first one is the very nice passion fruit opening and after that it turns into a sweetie and woody and a little bit spicy scent uh, i do get the cloves here 
but I think that there's actually more than just clove. Clove is not that prominent, but I can see that it makes some kind, it gives the spiciness with the Szechuan pepper to the base of the scent. But this one is super nice, seriously. Let me just spray here once more. I don't know why, but this scent has some kind of, it reminds me Mugler fragrances. I, I, it has some kind of DNA of those scents. I've, I have two Mugler fragrances and the backbone of the fragrance reminds me a little bit, but it's not close to any one of the two that I have. I have Pure Heaven and I have Pure Malt. They do not remember me like this fragrance, but I get some kind of, I don't know what it is, but there's something quite similar on both. Maybe it's similar to another Mugler fragrances that I haven't tried because I just tried these two that I'm telling you. Maybe there's another uh, Mugler fragrance that is similar to Ebony Wood. I'm not sure. I cannot tell you this one. That's just my feeling because I know that there's so many flankers of Mugler Amen. So I'm pretty sure that there's another one. Maybe there's one that is quite similar to this one. I don't know. Let's go for performance rate. As for longevity, this one lasts five to six hours, which is okay. I don't actually complain because this fragrance is quite unique. I don't have anything similar to this one. So I actually, I'm okay with that performance. However, if you spray on your clothes, it lasts way longer and you can feel it is still in the other day. On skin, it lasts five to six hours. If you want to make it last longer, you know, at least two sprays on your shirt, on your clothes, and you're okay for the day. This perfume has a really nice sillage, so I will give seven and a half, eight, eight. I will, I'm gonna give an eight for this perfume. Longevity, I will give, I, I just already mentioned it, but I will give longevity of, longevity, I will give it a seven. And projection, I will give it a 7 as well. It does not project that much. You just feel the sillage. In the first hour, it projects quite nicely, but it does not go that far. It stays, it's quite moderate actually, but still nice perfume. More suitable for fall. I'm not sure if this one would be nice for the winter, because winter here in Korea is quite dense, it's quite strong, so I don't actually see myself using this one because I have to use something a little bit bolder. Yes, this perfume is quite nice. I really recommend this one. I'm not sure if you can find this on your Zara around your house. I had to wait a little bit to get this one actually because I smelled it on a Saturday and I really couldn't find it and just in the next week, I went to Azara by an accident, I found it, it was like so sudden but so pleasant finding, seriously. I really recommend, if you guys think that I have good taste, if you guys checked already other perfumes that I already reviewed and you know my collection, like put your nose on this one, try to, try to test this one. And I, you may like it. I'm telling you, the passion fruit here is just amazing. It sells the fragrance so well. Okay, I have to tell you something else as well. This one can be a little bit feminine for some people because of the kind of sweetness that you can find in here. But the wood backbone makes it unisex for me. I really don't actually, I don't actually mind wearing this one. I am a person that like gourmand and sweet fragrances, so if you like sweet fragrances, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna love this one because that passion fruit, that sweet passion fruit in the opening, you gotta try seriously. So that's it for me today guys, this is my review of Zara Emotions Ebony Wood, try it, super nice, super inexpensive as well. Yeah, why not? Super cheap, just do it. I hope you liked it and I hope you got interested about this one. I hope you guys give it a try. 
and see what you guys think about it. So as always, please comment, make me any questions if you have it. Uh, please subscribe, like the video, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.